So in this video, we're gonna be looking at moving platforms. So before we start moving platforms, you'll see that my levels change slightly. So all I've done is I've changed the size to be 2000 in width, just give me a bit more space. And using the tile background means that I can quickly just change the background. And I've just dragged a new platform over and put it in the level, just to give us an end point. So at the moment, we've got our jump through platforms. We've got our solid walls and floors. We want a platform that can move because it's quite a common element in most platforming games. So we're going to right click, insert a new object, scroll down to get to sprite, and we need to give our sprite a name because we're going to have multiple sprites in this level. So I'm going to call it moving, press insert, click roughly where it's going to be. Again, we can move this after, and now we can create our moving platform. Now, for my moving platform, I'm just going to change the height to be much smaller. I'm just going to fill it in a single block color. We'll go for this red color. Press escape. So we've got our platform here. Now what we want to do is make it so our platform can move left and right. So we're going to right click and we're going to add a behavior. We can also do this by right clicking and edit behaviors. So that's a personal preference with which one you want to use. We're going to add a brand new behavior. So we need two behaviors added onto this platform. First, we need to actually give an attribute of solid or jump through. So jump through again means that we can approach the platform from underneath or by the side. Solid means we have to land on top of it. So this is up to you depending on what you want it for your game. If you want the player just to land on the platform, jump through might be better. But you might also want to take this a step further, maybe have a moving block that pushes the player out of the way. In that case, you want solid. So it's up to you depending on what game you want to make. So I'm just gonna add a jump through. And then I can add my second behavior. I'm going to add my second behavior. And I'm going to come down, and this one is going to be called sign. So we can add sign, adjust the object's position, size, or angle, or other properties with an oscillating sine wave. What does that mean in English? It means we can move this platform now. So we're going to scroll down, and we're going to change the movement. So a lot of these are very complex so the main ones to know are horizontal so left and right or vertical up and down but if you want to do some more research and find out what these do you can look into that as well so we'll do horizontal left and right now in terms of waves um i can't remember what triangle does but sign will move the platform in this case left and right and when it gets to the end it will slow the platform down before moving it in the other direction sawtooth means that when it gets to the end it will teleport back to the beginning reverse uh, sawtooth does the opposite reverse the end and then move back to the beginning and square moves like side but it doesn't slow down when it gets to the end it keeps its momentum all the way through so it's a lot more jagged and less smooth so i'm going to stick to sign period is in seconds so this is how long it takes for it to get to the end and back again so a complete motion so four seconds you can also make this random if you prefer and then magnitude magnitude is how many pixels it's going to move by so let's go about 200 pixels best thing we can do now is test it so we're going to run our game i'm going to move my character and oh we can see our platform moving left and right so we can see that obviously i can see that's a bit unfair to make a player do a blind jump so all i need to do is just grab this just make it a little bit higher. So now when our player gets to it, they can see it, it's moving left and right, so the player can get to the other end. 